upon the earth. And go after my seaworms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God, whom I shall see for myself, and my eyes shall behold, and not another. We brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. The Lord gave, and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Lord, teach us to number our days, that we might certify how long we shall live. And we all say, Amen. You can be seated. God bless you, and the one in your family. I hope in this name, God will take care of you. You know you have missed your mother, grandmother, and the church of this uh, member. Friend, but she was a member of the choir for long years. This is the steward, walking from Orange Bay Road to Lago night and day, singing the songs of style. Sister Friend was a very good Alto Sina, Alto. Amen. Now she has gone, but she is singing the Master over young. God bless you. We are going to begin and we see the first hymn. We will sing the wonders of Jesus. She is mercy and grace. The man can say it and I say it. We prepare for us at least. Sing the wonders of Jesus. Sing his mercy and his grace. Oh, give the passion, bright and blessed. Give me the passion, 
in being happy to know that you are the king of kings. You are the lord of lords. You are the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. So we exalt you high above all others. We glorify you, Lord. And we just want to praise you for who you are. Be with us today as we now enter into this funeral service. I pray, Lord, you will be the chief among us in the name of Jesus. Have thy own way. Lead and guide. Take full control as we worship with tender thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. All praise the Lord. We'll be having the first lesson on Psalm 90 verses 1 to 12 by Natalie Brown, Grand God. Good afternoon, everyone. I can't see you know the name of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ and the Lord will soon come in I just want to bring all the spirit to the head of my life. Um, the Psalms read, I pray from verse 1 to 12. I pray, Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or even thou hast formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, no art God. Thou turnest man to destruction and state, return ye children of men. For a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday when it is past, and as a watch in the night. Thou carriest them away as with a flood. They are as a they are as a sleep. In the morning, they are like grass which groweth up. In the morning, it flourishes and groweth up. In the evening, it is cut down and withered. For we are consumed by thy anger, and by thy wrath are we troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins in the light of thy countenance. For all our days are passed away in thy wrath. We spend our years. We spend our years as the daylight is cold. The days of our years are three scores years and ten. And if by reason of strength they be four score years, yet, yet is their strength labor and sorrow. For it is soon cut off and we fly away. Who knoweth the power of thy anger? Even according to thy fear, so is thy wrong. So teach us the number of days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. These are the portions of the word of Almighty God, and I'm going to by saying, thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. 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 As the next time, from Sister Ann Pierce, come to the point. We worship the Lord. Yeah. Every man can find the name of Jesus. Yeah. That's the name of the Lord. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 18 by Clinton David, great grandson.
wanted to say something? Short. Anyone? 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 Friend or family? Alright, let me move on. Do you have any remembrance by this and keep them straight forward? Let us pray the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. All the time that I brought up the funeral service, God, for the love of remembrance. And most times we are the expert person in that age for hard of those who died. But today I'm giving God thanks and I'm glad for the privilege. Amen. To speak about Sister Friend. Amen. What I love of her. You know, Sister Friend, she said to me many years ago, um, I am a son. Because I know you before your mother was living, before you were born. Amen. I know you from a mother and a child. You are my son. And the friend and myself, we have a very, very good relationship. Amen. I came to church nearly 40 years ago. And Sister Friend was here. Amen. And when I came in, two years after, I got saved, I was promoted to the choir. Amen. And I get to bond with her and her hand. Very so strong eye to see her. Amen. She used to give me trouble because I could not keep her with her. You see with her, she was strong and the next time we had that time. Amen. It was very, very tough for me. But you know what? She's so afraid she nurtured me. Amen. Throughout my Christian pathway in the church, she nurtured me. A wonderful woman. A wonderful woman. Um, then saw a shed of a glimpse of the heavy land. land. But I say to you, let me correct you again. She will be rescued. Hallelujah. In that heavy land. Not all her glimpse, but she will be arrested in that heavy land. You know, it's the friend. Whatever time she travels, and she comes and she says, Brother Brian, this is yours. I the package, she doesn't know how small it is. Amen. She's a friend, a wonderful woman. Amen. A wonderful woman. She has served church many years in the kitchen as a chef during convention time. Amen. It can be. And you know, and I often, because just when she died, when I look at one of those people and I realize that. She's afraid I was born the best month of the year. Amen. The best month of the year. Amen. I don't understand why she and myself was such a very, very good friend. I know I understand why she was a nice person. Because she was born the best month of the year. Amen. Because I do she's afraid. You know, she, she can talk to me. Even when I was getting married, you know, she encouraged me. Yes. Amen. She always passed her book. Then when she was growing up, she loved my children. Yes. Amen. The time came when I, amen, used to be her chauffeur. Amen. Take her home from church, out of church. It was a pleasure for me and Sister Friend and Sister Stroud. Amen. It's a very wonderful, wonderful, wonderful woman. Amen. And I say to the family who are here, mystery. I have no doubt in my mind that Sister Frey has been deprived. Sister Frey was born to be with her Savior. And with this wonderful woman, I say to the family, children, grandchildren, great grandchildren, amen. Let me pray to her to work to meet her. Amen. Because she has gone to be with her Savior. All the years of prayer of church, church has served faithfully. Even when the born of convention anywhere. And a little boy, a young boy church, since a friend made sure that she take care of me. Amen. She screamed me in the pocket money. Make sure that I am okay. 
and God bless us all today. You know, we have to miss the friend. But we don't want to mourn too much for her because she has fought a good fight. And she has kept faith. And henceforth is laid upon her a crown of righteousness. Amen. And as someone said, when I wake up to glory, Sister Frame will be here to meet us. God bless you. May our soul rest in peace. And life perpetual shine on her. Thank you.
Praise the Lord. We have to praise the Lord. It's all this is so praise the Lord. We not heard no. Praise the Lord. For the high peace. Oh God, we thank you for this power which you have given us, God, to carry through this service and reach thus far. And we just start to talk about Praise the Lord. 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 Praise
to the break in the night. Amen. And I'll start off the gospel. Oh, glory to God. Amen, amen, amen. Wonderful, one of God. Who have served God well. Amen. Who have played a very, very long and painful and humble innings. Hallelujah. Here we are celebrating our life. God bless you, God bless you. We come to the program. Amen. We are having nieces. At this time, nieces.
something going to be together. Yeah, because we all must leave this earth someday. God bless you, God bless you, Jesus. Amen. The will of Sister R. Pierce, followed by the SDA Church, we have those two in that order. Mr. R. Pierce, then the SDA.
pleasure for us to be here this afternoon. This doggy, this doggy, and this doggy, because the doggy is a very, it's a very um, well-known person in the community. And I'm glad to be here this evening to just share in this very special celebration. Of course, it is a celebration. And uh, um, I must let you know that it's a privilege to live to see this age. Amen. Don't you see what is happening in the world and so many young people are dying. And so for her to see what fourth generation are crying, it is a privilege. And indeed, it, this celebration is worth it all. The Bible tells us of her women like her um, in um, Proverbs chapter 31 that says the children rise up and what? Call her next. And you can see from this great celebration, she made roots. She ensured that she made roots. Because her children and grandchildren who are here celebrating her wonderful life. Uh, I want you to know that the Seventh-day Adventist Church recognizes her, um, her, 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 her citizenship in the community. Peaceful, one who is God-fearing, one who is, she loves her church and she's committed to her God. She has gone through her period of principles when her son died, it was a terrible time for her. And yet, she cling to her God. She never gave up. And a couple times, yes, from the church, a group of us would go and visit and pray for her. And she was also always so very cheerful and accepting. I want you family members to know that God sees your pain and he is encouraging you with the words, some words from the scriptures. I'd like to, you to remember that he said, my peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the word you it found, let not your heart be troubled or let you be afraid. He also said, if I go, I will prepare a place for you, and, 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 and when I come again, I will receive you unto myself. And in Revelation, I want to just read what it says in Revelation chapter 21. It says, God shall wipe away all tears from your eyes, and there shall be no more death. There shall be no more sorrow, nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain for the former things are possible. And encouraging all of us who remain behind to be faithful. Because one day we will be as she is. And if we are not faithful, then what will our end be? We can say here that those who die in the Lord are what? Blessed. And all of us want to be blessed when we die. In any case here, she's going to be singing because Auntie Dottie has sent children and, and through her children, grandchildren have come to the school and great grand and presently we have the Haley and the Anna, um, the Anthony, whatever it is. But so she is going to be singing as coming from the school. I can't sing, so what I can't do should be singing, all right? <laughs>
for his tributes. Amen. Amen. Let us ride on the stand. Amen. Amen. I say to us, we are Christians, the stand of life that can be wrong. Amen. And all this lazy and here is just a prayer to death and earth. Shall ride on many stands. Especially those 50 years when she was in Jesus' sin. Amen. She had ride on many stands. Amen. But because she trusted Jesus, Amen. And she had confidence that God will carry her through to be the true Christian. We are celebrating her life. We are not sad by her passing, but we are celebrating that another son, hallelujah, another daughter, has obeyed the voice of God and has gone home to be with him. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. And this time we have the changes here. Amen. And program. Amen. We are going to have the, the sermon before we have the Lord. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. And I ask permission. Amen. At this time, we are going to have a solution from the post choir.
but she had gone to a land where all her old age will be rolled back. So when we get to meet her, amen, she will be a land where she never, never, never go old. God bless you, God bless you. Stand for the word. Oh, glory to God, stand for the word, stand for the word. Bless the name of Jesus. And you stand there to stand, 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 please. And I present to you a young servant of God, Amen. Brother Larry Grant. Who will give us the word in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Come to me again, Lord, I pray. Come on, give the Lord Jesus a praise. One more time, give the Lord another shout of praise. Praise God. The Word of God tells us that from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, the very same, the name of the Lord is to be praised. It is a command that is unending. As the Lord has we have breath, we are commanded to give God praise. In a funeral service, but we can praise God. We can praise God for more than one reason. Besides the fact that we have life, we can praise God. We are sitting here, and even whilst we are aches and pains, you still have we still have better health than other people. We are sitting here, and we would have heard of a number of people in our country who have died as a result of murder, but we are here in this church. Amen. Praise God. There are more than one reasons to praise God. Amen. But we can also praise God, not because we are glad that Sister Freya has died, but because she has gone home to be with the Lord. Amen. Praise God. There are those who might disagree but I want to say to you, if you have no assurance of your eternal destiny, then what you are proposing is that you're going to have to work on it. But I believe that Sister Frey, having given her life to the Lord those many years ago, I have the hope and the confidence that when her eyes were closed on this side of heaven, her eyes were removed in the presence of the Lord.
according to the first stage that we're going to talk about, to the course of this world. There are institutions in this world that are specifically organized to promote rebellion against the laws of God. So God says there was a time when we walked according to the course of this world. And because we are living in this world, there are times even believers still walk in worldliness. Paul is suggesting that a sinner is living in a place where he is a living dead. Yeah. As a human being, I may see an unbeliever on a passing rock. Jesus sees unbelievers and loves them. The world of flesh and flesh are the trinity of ages that come together to keep sinners in prison. It's a prison. Yes. The free air you look, world of flesh and flesh, it's a prison. Free the hard way. And it's a prison that is destined unto eternity. However, there is an escape route from this prison. And that's the hope I want to tell you. You may be bound in the imprisonment of the world, the flesh and the devil, but there is an escape route. And the escape route is not a thing. The escape route is a person. And this person said in John 13, 6, Life and death 
heaven and hell, light and darkness. I want to say to you, choose life. Choose life. Choose Jesus. Choose Jesus. Sister Fred chose Jesus years ago. And it's because of her faithfulness and righteous words that she was saved unto. For I read and believe that at present she is in the presence of the Lord. May the Lord allow you to believe this gospel message and God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. 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 Truly, truly. Indeed, uh, this is the word of God. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. Are we in church? Yeah. Come on now, we're in church right now. We should be able to praise the Lord. Hallelujah, church! Yeah. Yes, the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our sweet coming faith. Before I start, the preacher has said some things that I think we need to pay attention to. Analyze the topic as he's done well. God bless you, young man of God. The world, the flesh, and the devil. Three things that we battle day by day, night by night, every time we struggle with these things. And as I was listening to him, he said, the escape route is Jesus Christ. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I want to shock somebody today because we feel that we are our, our own man and our own woman. Did you know that the same breath that you're breathing, God has blown that breath inside of you? The breath of life? Can I show somebody the mercies of God quickly? Once that breath is gone, there is no life. As you look at my grandmother sitting there in the coffin, she's like yeah. Nothing is there at the moment. She lived her life. Yeah. She knew Christ. She walked with Christ. Yeah. And she died in Christ. Yeah. The question is today, who am I going to choose? Am I going to choose the world? Or am I going to choose Christ where I can escape? The decision is in your hand. I really need you. Amen. I believe somebody needs to hear that word. But there was an echo from the Lord in the spirit. Somebody pay attention to the word of the Lord. Because somebody hit A. Because somebody here needs to be saved. Lately, the Lord has been showing me something that I just don't understand. He's been showing me the clock. It's like a clock is ticking and the time is always up. Young men and young women, you're dying day by day and night by night. Just three months ago, my cousin died. Past and gone. And I've been asking myself a question recently. What happens to a soul when they don't believe in Jesus Christ? Where do they go? What can we say at that tragic moment and experience? But I'll say this to someone. For God so loved the world that he has given his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. The secret is in believing. What you believe can either kill you or give you life. The key is in your hand. Choose life and not death. The eulogy for the life of the late Paul Winter Freire. Here begin. There will be no more sorrow there, no more burdens to bear, no more sickness, no more pain. 
and no more party over there. All will be peace for the moment on that happy golden shore. What a day, a glorious day that will be. It was a very excited and joyous day when on the morning of September 11, 1937, a lovely baby girl was born to Mr. Richard Phillips and Mrs. Agnes Porter Phillips at Lockwood in the parish of Hanover. She was named Justina Palmita Phillips. She was nourished and cared for by her parents as she grew well with her other siblings and as most parents do when it was time for secondary socialization. She attended the Cape Valley All Age School. As years went by, Paulita grew into a beautiful and gorgeous young lady who was well behaved and well disciplined. She moved around in her community with pride and joy. At the age of 20 years old, she met and fell in love with the man of her dreams, Mr. Lawrence Frank. They were late to each other for a while and later got married September 7th, 1957. Being a young woman who loved the Lord and realized there was a hell to shun and a heaven to pay, she gave her heart to the Lord and was baptized in the Bible Church of God later in the same year, 1957. Sister Frame was an ardent member of the church, one who was very peaceful, friendly, kind, and lovable. She served as a member of the choir where her melodious alto voice could be heard as she ministered in songs for the others. Sister Frame was also a part of the Den Prim Band group. She would be seen in her pink uniform going to fasting or on prayer band missions. She served well and was always on mission for the door as the different church outings would never have missed her. She was a faithful soul and was always on time for service. Our girl, sister of Frame, and Frame, as she was affectionately called by family and friends, was a family person. She loved her family well. She had a special bond with her sister, Sister Virgin Stewart. You would never have seen one without the other. She would talk much about her children and grandchildren, especially Romy, Patrick and Paul, Yellow, Paulton, and Tatiana. During her years of marriage to Brother Frank, the union produced eight children, of which three predeceased her, both Deborah and Baby Girl. She was a housewife by choice. However, she did menial work on a food farm and with whistle to help with her enlightenment. As years went by and ages started taking over, then alignments and ill health began to take a hold on her life. Sister Frey became immovable and was at home sick. She was in and out of the hospital on different occasions. However, she was taken care of by helpers and family members. As months and time went by and as the sickness got worse, she was moved back and forth from her home in Margaret to Granger at Beth's home, where she was cared for by her good granddaughter, her girl. I have never met one man without sorrow, never seen one eye without tears, but there is a land where death is a stranger, and joy is the only song for the sin. It was on Tuesday, May 31st, 2022, when the illness became unbearable. She was taken to the Zappalmore Hospital, where she was admitted. She was diagnosed with different types of sicknesses and was given different medications, but was not getting any better. When I go on the last mile of the way, I shall rest at the close of the day, and I know there are joys that await me when I go on the last mile of the way. Sister Justina called me to pray to her last breath on June 7, 2022. At a blessed age of 84 years and 9 months, 
She left behind grieving their lost all. Five children, Laura, Herbert Dorn, Beverly, Eugenia Rowe, and Laura. 34 grandchildren, 71 great-grandchildren, and 12 great-great-grandchildren. One sister, two brothers, nieces, and grandnieces, nephews and grandnephews, cousins, church families, and a host of other relatives and friends. It is so hard to lose our loved ones to the grave, but I know we'll have the strength that Jesus gave. God shall wipe away all those teardrops from our eyes when we meet in that land beyond the sky. Sleep, mama, sleep, and take your rest. We love you, for Jesus loves you best. Goodbye, goodbye, your soul rests in peace. God, you are. Yeah. Today, you know, I came up from 11 o'clock. 
Man not just born of a woman, not a short time to live. And it's full of misery. He coming up and he's cut down like a flower. He flip as it were a shadow and never content in one state. In the midst of life we are in death, so of whom may we seek for a sucker for but for the O Lord, who for our sins are justly displeased. Yet, O Lord, God most holy, O Lord most mighty, holy and most merciful Savior, you can begin to know. Deliver us not into the bitter pains of eternal death. Thou knowest, Lord, the secret of our hearts. Thou shalt thy merciful ears to our prayer, but fear us, Lord most holy. O Lord most mighty, your holy and merciful Savior, thou most ready judge eternal, suffer us not at our last hour for our pains of death to fall from thee. For as much as it has pleased Almighty God, in his great mercy, 
to take on things that we soul of our dear sister here oh, yeah, departed. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine, that's We're here for coming, her body to the ground. That's fine. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust. Eternal life to our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change our whole body, that it may be like unto his glorious body, according to the mighty work in whereby is able to subdue all things unto himself. Amen, workmen. And the same the work shall gather over on the other shore. And the road is called up yonder, I'll be there. Sing, sing. When the road is called up yonder, 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 I'll be there. The great and marvelous morning when the dead in Christ shall rise and the glory of his resurrection share. And the saints and one shall gather over the road beyond the sky and the road is called up yonder and the day. When the road is called up Let us talk upon his wonders of a king. Then when all of life is over and the work on earth is done, and the road is full of thunder and rain.